Hi everyone! Welcome to the fifth video of our Realistic FPS series. In this video, we will import our pistol and set up the weapon BP and weapon Sway. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. If you want to support me, you can buy me a coffee by clicking the link in the description. Before we start, don't forget to download the assets for this tutorial. By the way, sorry for the delay, and let's get started. Go to the content folder, create a folder called Weapons, open it, and then create another folder called M1911. Then create a folder for our textures and import the textures from the file you've downloaded. Go back to the M1911 folder and import the FBX file here. You can close this tab and then delete the textures, material and animation. Create a folder called Mesh and drag and drop these two files into it. Create another folder called Material. Create a material and rename it M underscore M 1911. Open it up and drag and drop the textures we've imported here. Get the base underscore color texture and connect it to the base color. Get the metallic texture and connect it to the metallic. Get the roughness texture and connect it to the roughness. Get the mixed AO texture and connect it to the ambient occlusion. Lastly, get the normal texture and connect it to the normal. Open up the M1911 skeletal mesh and set its material to M underscore M1911. Now our first weapon, the M1911, is ready to be used. Now we open up our character skeleton. Click the preview animation on the top left and select the idle one. Now we are going to set up the weapon socket. Select hand underscore R, right click and click add socket. Press F2 on your keyboard and rename it socket underscore M1911. Right click on it, select add preview asset, then choose M1911 skeletal mesh. Select socket, go to the details tab, and set the location to minus 10.01, 5.061, and minus 3.625. And rotation to minus 5.474, 7.259, and minus 20.687. As you can see, now our pistol is perfectly positioned on our arms. Go to the weapons folder. Right click, click blueprint. Then choose actor and name it weapon underscore base. Click the Add button and search for Skeletal Mesh. Name it Weapon Underscore Mesh. Drag and drop it on default scene root to make it the root. Go to the event graph and delete these two events. Then we are going to create four custom events named Equip, Stow, Fire, and reload.
Then for the event begin play, get the parent actor and cast to first person BP. Then promote to a variable called player ref. Create a string variable called name. A skeletal mesh variable called mesh. A float variable called damage. A float variable called fire delay. A float variable called range. And a boolean variable called reloading. Go to the construction script and get the weapon underscore mesh and the mesh. And set the skeletal mesh of the weapon underscore mesh to the mesh variable. Then create a child blueprint of the weapon base and name it weapon underscore M1911. Then move it into the M1911 folder and open it up then set the class defaults as shown in the video. Go back to first person BP, select first person mesh, click add, then search for child actor and name it weapon. Set the child actor class to weapon underscore base and set the parent socket to socket underscore M1911. Go to the construction script, get the weapon and set its child actor class to weapon underscore M1911. This event is giving us our pistol when we are spawned, so we will remove this event after we spawn our weapons in the world. Now our player looks good, and all our animations are compatible with the pistol we've imported. Go to first person BP and create a function called get weapon. Get the weapon. Get the child actor and cast to weapon underscore base. From the true output, add the return node, set the cast variable as output, and name it weapon. Lastly, set the function type to pure. In this function, we just get the child actor of our weapon skeletal mesh and return it by the return node, so it will give us our weapon when we call it. Go to the event graph and get the IA underscore shoot event. From the started pin, get the movement variable and check if it is not equal to sprinting. From the false pin call stop sprint event, create a boolean called shooting. Add a branch node. Call the get weapon function, get reloading boolean. Connect it to not boolean. Then connect it to the branch. From the true output, set shooting to true, call get weapon, and call the fire event. From the completed pin set, shooting to false. Select all the pins, right click and collapse nodes, name it fire event. When we press the fire key, it checks if we are sprinting, and if we are, it stops the sprint event. Then we check if we are not reloading, and then we call the fire event. Call the IA underscore reload event. Just call the get weapon function and call the reload event. Select all the pins, right click, collapse nodes, and name it reload event. In this event, when we press the reload key, we just call the reloading event from our weapon. These fire and reload events are not fully set up yet, but we will add some other things to them in the future. Go to the walk event and create a function called weapon sway. 
create a rotator input and name it PrevCamRot. Add a sequence node and add a pin. Get control rotation, then get actor rotation. Add a delta node and connect them. Split it into pins. Add a normalize to range node and set the values to minus 90 and 90. Then add two lerps and set the values to 3, minus 3 and 2, minus 2. Add a make vector node and connect the first one to Y and the second one to Z. Then promote the outcome to a variable called pitch offset POS. Get the pin from the normalize node and add another normalize to range node. Set the max to 0.5. Add a clamp node. Then add a lerp node and set the A to 15. Get FP at root's relative location and split it into pins. Then set our FP roots relative location as shown in the video. Create a rotator variable called camrot current. Then set it to first person camera's world rotation. Add a delta node, and for the B of delta, we will get the input of our function, so get the prev cam rot. Add a break rotator node. Multiply the Y with minus one. Then clamp it between minus 5 and 5. Copy and paste the clamp node and connect it to Z. Add a make rotator node and connect the pins. Create a new rotator variable called camrot rate. Get the variable, add a rinterp2 node and connect the pins as shown. Get world delta seconds for the delta time and the interp speed. Then divide 1 by delta seconds, divide the outcome by 10, and connect it to interp speed. Then set the cam rot rate to the outcome of the rinterp. Lastly, get the cam rot rate and split it into pins. Add a normalized to range node from X and Z and set the values to minus 5 and 5. Add two lerp nodes. And set the values to minus 10, 10, and minus 6, 6. Create a vector variable called camrod offset. and set the variable as shown in the video. In the first part of the weapon sway function, we just calculate the difference between our actor's rotation and our controller's rotation. And we normalize it to a range. So when we look to the top, the value will be 90. And when we look down, the value will be minus 90. Then we lerp this value to get smaller values. Then first we make a vector, then we move our FP root. In the second part, we first get our camera's world rotation. Then we calculate the difference between the previous one. Then we clamp this value to get smaller values. 
and set the cam rot rate with the Rinterp2 node to set it smoother. Then in the last part we just get the cam rot and turn it into bigger values by using normalize to range and lerp node. We set the new value to a vector variable. Then we go back to the walk event and add the weapon sway function at the end of the nodes. And for the input rotation, just get the cam rot current variable. Select the shooting variable and set its category to shooting. Then select the weapon sway variables and set their category to weapon sway. Let's go to our animation BP. First, go to the event graph, get the player ref, get pitch offset pose and promote it to a variable. Again, do the same things, but this time get camera offset and camera rate. Then go to anim graph, add a transform modify bone node. Set the bone to spine underscore 03, set the translation to camrot offset, set the rotation to camrot rate, and set the translation and rotation modes to add to existing. Remove the scale pin, create a comment box and name it weapon sway. Add another transform node. Set the bone to spine underscore 03, and set the translation to pitch offset pose. Remove the rotation pin and set the translation mode to add to existing. And remove the scale pin. Lastly, create a comment box and name it pitch offset. Now as you can see, our character has a weapon sway and camera lag. But if you don't like the camera lag, you can turn it off by going to first person BP, selecting the mesh underscore root, and disabling the camera rotation lag option. Thank you guys for watching this video. I couldn't upload for a week, I'm sorry for that. But from now on, I will try to upload a video every 3 days. So don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And if you want to support me, you can buy me a coffee by clicking on the link in the description. If you have anything in mind, just comment down below. See you in the next video.